Oh, la la. Hello, beautiful people of Ghana and beyond. I am back again with another video and I want to thank God for the strength and of course I want to thank you all for your support. I want to apologize to Adisco and also to Achimota School. I think it's fair to redo these videos. I would like to redo Adisco and I would like to also redo Achimota School. I feel like I did not do justice. To these two schools the, the reason being that i was new to this i didn't understand the giving back to the amamata culture in ghana but in today's video we are going back to the ashanti region region <laughs> in ghana kings and queens are setting up schools churches are setting up schools and ghanaians are picking it up from there and the government is doing amazing for its citizen osei tutu senior high school in the ashanti region omo energy deal energy high energy went high these guys these guys are larger than life hey now let's go check these guys out and i will be back let's go mm, let's get ready to rumble from a humble beginning in a bungalow opposite Freeman College Kumasi in 1940, Osei Tutu Boys Boarding School was founded with a student number of 30. Today, the school, now a senior high school and situated in the Kropon Ashanti, can boast of its own facilities made up of classroom blocks, dormitories, IT and science laboratories, as well as residential quarters for staff. The student population is now over a thousand and an endless list of graduates, many of whom have become household names in Ghana because of their remarkable achievement and contribution into various areas of the Ghanaian economy. The Osei Tutu Senior High School is proud to have the Asante Hene Otumfo Osei Tutu II as its life patron. Yeah. <laughs> 
Victory Senior High School Army Cadet Guard Formal. One officer, 31 cadet, and an attendant of Osei Tutu Senior High School Band. Yes, Osei Tutu Senior High. Ethanoic acid. And that is correct. In human anatomy, yes, Osei Tutu Senior High. Helium. Helium is correct. Will I say to get the 800? Yes. Or if I can get it? I say to you, this is all yours. I am always positive whenever I do not equal zero. I am the energy an object possesses on account of its motion. Who am I? The way Benedict is smiling. Kinetic energy. That is correct. The question that I wanted to ask is, um, how did you guys finish school and come out gentle? Because the energy these guys are giving in school is not the one I'm seeing on the streets of Accra. You can't see a Ghanaian like that. But in school, these guys are everywhere. They do things like they are hot. <laughs> When they finish school, they come out cold and gentle, like a dove. How did you do it? I would like to know. All the bragging in school, eh, this one is this, Prempe College, he did this, eh, Owasi, this and that, Presec, Achimota, we are going to deal with them, Potters, get... Then when you come out, you don't brag. What, how did it what happen? I want to learn because I like it. Uh, someone left a comment and said, Lily, hey, what about Osei Tutu? And I'm like, Osei Tutu? So in Ghana, kings are setting up schools. Kings are not just being respected and worshipped like gods. Kings are setting up schools. Kings are imparting the lives of a regular Ghanaian. The day I went to the Meshai Palace in Kumasi, I could see a lot of people sitting there under the shade. They are, you know, beautifully, you know, it's a beautiful uh, palace, not even inside. At the time I visited, they were renovating the whole palace, so people were not allowed access. But, you know, if you've been there, you will know there's the other side uh, that has um, the bell where you ring you know, that site and where you also have the museum and all that. There were people sitting there relaxing and they are all happy and they are fresh. When you love your country, so I didn't know that your kingship also do you good like the government. All right. I'm happy. I'm happy I came to this country. Not even for me. I'm happy I live in an, in an environment where human beings are treated the same where there is no discrimination, where you don't have to, if I say I'm going to so-so and so area, people automatic, people know you're going, you're poor, people can judge where you're going. If not for the fact that renovation was ongoing, I would have seen the king that day. This is what I'm talking about, simplicity. Simplicity that cannot be bought. Okay, now, as always, there's something about the ex-boys of this school. They are not local, I'm sorry. They are not doing cities, okay? The ex-boys are doing pounds and dollars. Uh, they are not in Ghana, all right? Do you understand? So let's go meet them in the UK. Let's go to the United Kingdom and meet the ex-boys of Osei Tutu Senior High School. Yenko. <laughs> Events started with an opening prayer and a short speech by Reverend Osei Isibe Buafo, president of the Old Student Group 1990 to date. I am delighted.
You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Nobody, dis no, none of them disappoint. Just, no, just close your eye for a minute. See it like this. You are here in Ghana and uh, your aluminites are somewhere planning on how to raise funds and send it to you in Ghana to better your school. I'm talking about hard currency. I want to just pretend that okay, all these guys, mm, yeah, maybe they're not too done it because uh -uh, come on, uh, they are not the only, uh, they are not the only ones that are supposed to give back to the alma mater, okay. But they are just gonna donate like a thousand or two thousand pounds each. No, I mean the people you saw in this video, some of them couldn't make it, all right. But they will send the money. Let's just say they send they contributed like a, a, a thousand pounds each or five hundred pounds each, and they are sending it to Ghana. Don't play. This country will not kill me. <laughs> you guys will not kill me. At this point, I think I, I want to have another baby. It should be a boy, right? What do you guys think? I want to have a Ghanaian boy, you know, so that my one of my boy can go to one of these schools. I can't. I can't sit down here and. Talk about these schools without having my son in one of these schools. So how am I going to do it, dear future husband? <laughs> With the emergency of this series that I love doing, I cannot even, I can't even keep a relationship. So how am I going to get the boy? See, by the time I finish this series in Ghana, you guys will donate a husband to me. I'm not playing. I, I can't do this. Let's go back to the school and do random tour like we have always done and I will be back. Let's go. <laughs>
never be disappointed. Ghana will never disappoint me. Yeah, eyeball to eyeball. You know why? It's not just in Ga it's not just about Ghana as a country. All the people that I have loved, or maybe I just take a look at you from a distance. I watch a video of you, or I see a picture of you, and I like you. Through your picture or your video, I just can tell a whole lot. Or through the conversations that we have, I can tell a whole lot about you. I like you. You will never disappoint me. Ghana have never disappointed me up to date. So you see what I said? We have to redo Adisco. I mean, Adisabel College and also Achimota School. You see? And if you, if you want to believe me, firstborns, uh, firstborn of a family some families their firstborn usually suffer because there's no money that time the family is struggling <laughs> struggling the middle child and the last one kind of you know tends to enjoy more so that is it it can't be like i use adizabeth college to practice this work i have to redo at this school if you agree comment down below let me know i have an adi school that have sent me a video and Adisco saw a video of Adisabeth College on my channel and he took time to appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So I will not feel like he's not great. <laughs> I will not feel like he's an ingrate, right? He appreciated my work and told me, Lily, but um, when you filmed Adisco, they, they, I realized that the clips has, <laughs> it was during dry season and um, the roof is dusty. Just because the roof is dusty, he wants me, I don't know if he went to wash the roof. <laughs> Ghanaians will not kill me. I don't know if this guy went to wash, he went to wash the roof or he waited for the rainy season to come and then he went to film another video and he have sent it to me. He said, please post this one. This is the real Elizabeth Adiz College that the world should see. And the Achimota people are telling me, I went to their school but I didn't enter. So... You guys think we should redo it and I will do these two schools and put them in one video. If you agree, comment down below. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.